Questions remain over Iran's nuclear program after UN atomic officials said Tehran has failed to cooperate with them. The international community is suspecting that Tehran is building a nuclear bomb, but Iran insists it's only seeking peaceful atomic energy. The US and its allies have been imposing tough economic sanctions, while Israel's even threatened military action against Iran's nuclear sites. But it's being reported that America's intelligence community now has got doubts about the nuclear allegations. Let's try and get some more thoughts on all this and talk to Middle East consultant Peter Ray, who joins us on the line from Birmingham in England. Peter, very good evening from Moscow. The UN nuclear agency says Iran stepped up uranium enrichment. Now, how does that sit with that other leaked report we've been hearing in the Los Angeles Times where intelligence agencies say they don't think a bomb is being built? Um, I personally don't think there is any intention by Iran to go down that particular road. Um, what you have to understand is this uh, standoff uh, with Syria, Iran and all the rest of the uh, Middle Eastern concerns is basically a, a geopolitical plan for regime change. We saw it in uh, Libya, we're now seeing it in Syria, and the same uh, exercise in Iran. There is clearly um, a Zionist overtone, an Israeli overtone, on, on the way politics is run in the West, because they dictate uh, the ground rules, they provide the finances, and so the politicians do what they uh, ask for. The other issue here is that there's definitely a a Muslim standoff between uh, Shiite and Sunni and Sunni of course uh, Saudi and all the other countries are definitely against the Shiite we see this in Bahrain where the majority of the population is Shiite but they have no voice at all in politics uh, they talk about uh, democracy in Egypt but we still don't have democracy in Egypt because Israel and the US and the UK are to make sure that there is a a, a sort of a Western friendly government in power and so the military still control Egypt that is not democracy there's no democracy in uh, Bahrain uh, Syria is a duplication of uh, Libya there's mm -hmm. no question about that it is a forced regime change and nothing else but carry on sorry let's focus back in on Iran up, up until last August at least um, I spoke to President Ahmadinejad then personally uh, we did an interview with him and he said that as far as he was concerned he was happy that uh, atomic officials were being given the access they needed that was his side of it that's that's, that's what he told us um, now you and atomic officials saying Iran is refusing to cooperate with them during the last two visits in in recent months and so therefore they can't provide insurances that there are no nuclear weapons there do you think Iran could be doing a better PR job if you like do you think it should be more transparent i.e. it's not helping its cause here um, I don't think it's necessary for a country to be uh, so cooperative to uh, uh, this, the uh, the uh, powers that be that are against them. Uh, it, I would ask the question: Would Israel uh, subject itself to the same interrogation? We already know the answer to that. So, what is the difference between the uh, uh, the, the status of Israel compared to the status of Iran? As far as I'm concerned, um, nuclear weapons are deterrents. They've never been used. I don't think there is a threat by them. The NPT uh, is a complete waste of time. Uh, America violate it, the UK violate it, Israel uh, definitely violates it. Why all the pressure on Iran? They tried to do this in Pakistan when they went nuclear, they tried to do this, the same in India. Uh, to me, Iran should uh, be capable of doing what it wants to do itself and for its own defence. Mm -hmm. It is a de deterrent. There is no risk whatsoever from Iran or from the Islamic movement. I hear what you say, but also I guess the US and the EU, they've already been slapping sanctions on Iran's uh, economy over its nuclear programme. Do you think now we're going to see more after this IEA statement? Yeah, yes, I'm sure. And, uh, and uh, I think the biggest issue, uh, w what I see coming out of this, as we've seen so many times, we're going to see a significant incident take place, which we all know is uh, referred to as a false flag. And this incident will be the justification to presumably take up arms against Iran. What I do want to emphasize is that uh, there is talk that Israel could carry out the first strike. Militarily speaking, and having worked in NATO, in the intelligence and etc., I can assure you that Israel does not have the capability to carry out such a strike, and it certainly doesn't have the weapons or the aircraft to carry the weapons to do the job. So if Israel does attack, it will be a joint venture with, the, with America, with the UK and with France. Exactly the same scenario as we've seen in Libya. Peter, very good to get your informed opinion tonight. Peter Eyre, Middle East consultant on the line live from uh, Birmingham here on RT. It's appreciated.
Thank you. Good night.